Hello everyone, so in my last Orange Pi 02W video, I showed you how to install the operating system or Android 12 TV operating system on the Orange Pi 02W, but today I'll be showing you something else. Um, I will be showing you how to get something like Google Play, except it's not Google Play. This uh, program is called APK Pure and this will enable you to basically um, download apps on your Orange Pi 02W single board computer. So all you really need is a USB flash drive which I will be plugging in now. It's plugged in. You just have to download this program and you just put it into your USB flash drive, which I have here. I put it in this folder on my USB flash drive. It's called APK Pure, and this is a version number. And I will be installing this on my Orange Pi 02W single board computer next. Okay, so I started my Orange Pi 02W SPC. And basically, I uh, plugged in my USB flash drive, so I'm going to go to File Manager right there. I'm going to go here, that's my USB flash drive. I'm going to go to Uploads. Tap on that. and install this on my Orange Pi 02 SPC. I already installed it, so that's how you can install your APK Pure on your Orange Pi 02W SBC if you want. Here you could find, you can get uh, programs here. I installed uh, Chromium and Mozilla. This X here. This was one of the browsers that I downloaded. There, you can get other programs as well. You could get Amazon, or whatever you want. This is kind of like a Google Play Store, which enables you to install apps on your computer. To get out, just left mouse click. I think you could press the B button on your controller and get out. If you want to uninstall any of the programs, you can do that. You can simply go to settings. Apps, see all. Actually, go to the green one called Apps, and you can 
delete apps as well. I'm going to press A. And I could just uninstall this. I can't use YouTube because I don't have Google Store. That's one of the prerequisites that you need to use YouTube. I installed it, but I got rid of it because I don't need it. And I want to show you some other stuff, this operating system as well. Search is something you could use for like browsing the internet. Although they do not have an icon for that in apps. Nevertheless, you could just go to apps here and access search and you can go on the internet open or just search whatever And as you can see, I can just access it just like this, just like a regular web browser. To get back, just press B. I think you have to use a mouse for that. You just uh, right, left click to get out. Pretty much it. You could use this thing as a uh, kind of like a uh, TV box if you want. There's, I think, there's other applications you could use to stream videos. I can't think of any right now, but I will uh, put it in the video descriptions below. Different kinds of programs that you can use. You could download from APK Pure. And another thing, um, there is no, uh, w there's no option for turning off the Orange Pi 2W on uh, the software side, but you can reset it by going into, I think it's settings, going to device preferences, going to press restart, you could restart it. However, you cannot turn it on like that, turn it off like that. You can, uh, there's a button, there's a set of, there are three buttons on, the Orange Pi 02W, if you have attached a hat to it, the button that is on the far right is the power button. The button that is on the left, all the way to the left, is volume up, I think. I will be pressing it. As you can see, you can see the volume is going up. If I press the button that is in the middle, I could make the sound volume go down. So that's how you control the volume. It doesn't have a potentiometer. So you just have to use those buttons to do that. And that's possible to do that. So I can open up Mozilla Firefox if I want. Let's search the internet like that. I could shop here as well.
just like that. I can go to shopping sites like that. And I could keep pressing B to get out of it like I did there with my controller. If you wanted to use it as a small computer, you would need a keyboard and a mouse. I think that's pretty much it for this video. That's all I want to share with you today, how you can use this as a, uh, as a smart TV thing. I guess that's what a smart TV essentially is. It's basically got uh, some kind of single board computer in it which uses an Android TV-based operating system. So I'm going to turn this off just by pressing the off button and just shut it down. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you could leave it in the comment section below. And uh, thank you for watching.